Hello everyone, Augusto here and today I'm gonna show you a really incredible package of trees and grass that you can use for free inside of Blender without any conversion. Thanks for the guys of Max Trees, which is a website that creates assets for 3ds Max, but now they are converting those assets to Blender. So as you can see, you can use directly in Blender without any type of conversion at all, and in this case, it is free. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, I would like to ask you to subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so every time I post a new video about how to use Blender for architectural visualization, you will be awarded, okay? Anyway, let's get started. So, to download this package, just click the link in the description below. It's not a sponsored stuff or anything like that. It's just something that I really find useful for you guys and for myself as well. So. You can just click on the link in the description or go here to the Max 3 sections and click here in the free section where you can see the free stuff that those guys are sharing with us, okay? So, as soon as you click here, you see that this package is for free. So, you can click in the format, select the Blender format and click here in Add to Cart. Clicking here, you just need now to come here to the checkout stuff. You need to fill off those, those information and in the end, they won't ask you for any type of payment information. So credit card stuff no you just need to make your account and click here and place order without anything like credit card stuff or something like that doing that you can download the file and download the file this is what you will have on your computer you will have all those assets in different uh, in different blend files with uh, the respective thumbnails that you can use to apply on i don't know asset library inside of blender creating your your own asset library file or using some kind of asset manager so how you can import this on your file so it's simple you can just need to come here to blender i will create a plane just to have a ground and you can just click in the file drag and uh drop on top of your scene in my case i will append the file Click an object and I will select the object that I would like to append. And as you can see, the file is here, working perfectly. But there is a catch here and it's not about payment, <laughs> just to let you know. Uh, there is a small configuration for Eevee that is wrong in this file. So let me show what is what is this configuration. So if I come here to the material preview where you can see Eevee working, you can see that things are kind of strange because you can see the leaves behind the stuff, I don't know, it's weird. So to solve that, you need to come to the material stuff. Uh, in the trunk, you need to change the configuration on the material viewport. So you come here to material, to material, sorry. You come here to viewport display, change from alpha blend to opaque, because this is not to be on top of the leaves and for the leaves you need to change it from alpha blend to alpha hatchet which is really better because you can see better what's going on the same for leaves and mossy or i don't know flowers change from alpha blend to alpha hatchet it's a bit heavier to process but it's better because we work better on your scene as you can see right now it's looking better now and for cyclos how can i work with for cycle with cyclos just don't care about any type of those configurations you can just ignore what i just did in front of your eyes so coming here to cycles it will work it will just work perfectly as you can see uh in my case i'm using the nishita sky textures is a bit too bright so let me let's reduce uh the strength and as you can see it's looking gorgeous it's looking effy amazing <laughs> So, uh, you can do the same for all assets on your on this package. So, for example, I don't know, if I want to take this thing here, you can just drag and drop, append or link, whatever you want to do. And you can bring this file to your scene, as you can see. So, for Eevee, the same things apply. If the material is looking weird, you can just come here to the material stuff and change the viewport display of the material for something like a opaque stuff. As you can see, in my case, it's not what I want. Uh, it's kind of weird because you can see stuff going through each other. So let's change it to alpha hash it for all those files. If you need to use Eevee, in my case, I mostly use Cycle, so I don't even care about it because on Cycle, it's looking 
amazing. The last tip I would like to show is how to use those assets and distribute that in an easier way without use geometry nodes, using just the old fashioned stuff, the particle system in Blender, which in this case is more than enough. So to do that, just to show you how to, it works, I will bring some of those grass stuff here. So let me bring this grass object here, this first one. As you can see, it's here. The second one as well, I will append that, click in object and bring, bring it to my scene. And I will make the same for this one here, which has this thing, this stuff on the top, <laughs> just to have something different to see on our scene. So I will append that by clicking object and bring it to our scene. Perfect. Now I can select all those assets. Actually, let me open a new window and I will open for you an outliner and I will move these objects pressing C to create a new collection. I will create a collection called grass. In this collection, I will put my stuff in it, on it, I don't know, English, sorry. <laughs> And I will put this on my collection and now I can distribute this collection on top of this plane without subdivision or, thing or something like that. You can subdivide, obviously, but anyway, let's do that, let's do that another time. In this case, so let's come here to the particle system, create a new one, change it to hair, at advanced, and let's reduce the number for something like 1500. It's more than enough, I think. Uh, also, I'll come here to the hinder, to the hinder section change from path to collection and then I will select the collection with my grass and done. Oh, but everything is in the wrong direction. How can I fix that? To fix that, it's really simple. Just select your plane, come here to rotation section, turn it on. Remember, you need to have the advanced stuff on to see the rotation and just change, change the velocity to, and just change the orientation axis from velocity here to go global Y. This will make sure that all those assets will be pointing up. I don't know why or why this is not the default, but anyway, particle system is an old thing in Blender. Soon we just gonna use geometry nodes for those stuffs. Okay. Finishing that, you can come here to the render section and change the scale. To have the same scale of the object, the, the value is dot uh, 25. In 0.25 will make sure that the asset has the same height of the original asset. Why one is not the value? I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes Blender is just Blender. <laughs> and as you can see, now we have a distribution of grass on our scene. But you can have control about that. For example, in our case, you can see that we have a lot of those things, those higher top. Sorry, my cat. As you can see, we have a lot of those higher grass, the tall grass stuff, so we can reduce that. To do that, all you need to do is to discover what of those assets is the tall grass. In this case, we know that this is one, the very this beautiful 0105. And come here to our particle systems, we can go to the hinder section and turn on the use count, which we can use to increase the amount of different types of assets in our particle system. In our case, things are distributed even for all the plane. So we want, would like to do that because in nature, nothing is really evenly distributed. So everything in, the, in nature is mostly random. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna to select the other part, the other systems and increase the count to reduce the amount of this particular asset that we want to have, you know, distributed so much on top of our plane. And as you can see, now we have a more interesting result. So just like that, less of the tall grass and more details. And now let's increase a little bit the number and turn the rendered preview mode to see how Cyclos X can handle that. And as you can see, Cyclos X can do that easily. <laughs> let's increase a little bit. Oh, now it's too much. Uh, I will increase this one and this one as well. And yeah, I think this is more than enough. And as you can see, we have a really good grass field using those assets inside of Blender. For last thing, let's uh, increase a little bit of the contrast and voila, that's amazing. So that's it guys, free stuff. 
Who doesn't like free stuff? <laughs> Link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so every time I post a new video, you will know it. See you in the next video. Bye. Take care.